What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a brand new DIY video for you and today I'm actually going to be testing out three, that's six, three different slime recipes that involve no glue and no borax. So I'm super excited to test these out for you all. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for me. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel to become a unicorn. Come join the unicorn fam. You know you want to. Also if you're new around here make sure you hit the little bell icon that is right next to the subscribe button so you can get push notifications sent straight to your phone every single time that I upload. Be a part of the notification squad. Why not? I am super excited to test these slime recipes for you so let's get started shall we? So the first method I'm going to be trying is the cornstarch and jello method. Now I found this on Pinterest here. Basically you just need cornstarch, jello, and water. I was really struggling. The struggle was real trying to find which one I wanted to use but I had to use the blue one because the pink one is actually a pudding so that was that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in half a cup of the cornstarch into a bowl then we're going to go ahead and add in half a pack of our jello. Whatever kind of jello you want you can use. The jello is going to give a really nice color and a really nice smell as well. So to this I'm going to go ahead and add in two tablespoons of water and basically I'm just going to go ahead and mix that until we get the right consistency. If you need to add more water you just want to add it in by tablespoons at a time so you can add in as much as you need. A good strategy for this is if it's too thick then add in more water. If it is too runny then add in more cornstarch. Now I literally tried every type of combination with this one here and I tried my darnest but I could not get it to like a slime consistency. I either got like an oobleck or an edible play-doh consistency it was just very very weird and I didn't like it as you see here I ended up with like a play-doh texture which is definitely not slime so I would say this one is definitely a fail it is great smelling it's fun to play with but it's not slime the second method that I'm going to be testing for you all is the Metamucil slime. For this one, all you will need is some Metamucil that contains Psyllium husk. Then you're also going to need some Kool-Aid packets and some water. So for this slime here, I'm just going to go ahead and add in two or three tablespoons of my Metamucil into a bowl. You actually only see me do one here, but I did add more off camera just because it didn't work. Then I also added in one full packet of orange Kool-Aid just because my Metamucil was orange and I kind of wanted it to smell the same, you know what I mean, if that makes sense. Then I'm going to go ahead and add in a half a cup of water, mix that all together, and then we're going to go ahead and put this in our microwave for five minutes. I know that seems like a long time, but that is what this recipe called for, so let's do it. This mixture will bubble up in the microwave, so just make sure that it doesn't spill out of your bowl. Once it comes out of the microwave, you can go ahead and stir it and kind of see where the texture's at. You should see that it's already becoming a slime. However, for it to fully solidify and become a slime, you need to let it cool down completely. So after it's cooled down, you will get something that looks like this here. I think it is freaking amazing. I love this slime so much. It smells great and it's edible, of course. You know, all three of these slimes are surprisingly edible. I didn't plan on doing that but that's how it happened. I love this slime. It really does have a texture of slime. I wasn't too sure how I was going to like this one even though I've seen it been done before. I wanted to try it for myself. The only problem I have is because of the Kool-Aid it did stain my finger so I would say don't add as much or don't add it at all. Now for the third and final method, I'm going to be using potato starch and water. This one I actually saw on my friend Yelly's channel. Her channel name is Yelly Marie. I will link her down in the description box below. By the way, if you've never squeezed potato starch before, I highly suggest that you just grab a bag at Walmart and just start squeezing it because it's actually really satisfying. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add in one or two tablespoons of the potato starch and we're going to add in six tablespoons of water. Then I'm going to add in one drop of food coloring. I chose blue and we're going to mix it all together and make sure there are no lumps. Once your mixture is fully blended together and there are no lumps, you can go ahead and pop this into the microwave for about 30 seconds to a minute. You just want to do it like on 30 second intervals just to make sure it doesn't get too like, you know, hard or anything. So you will get something that looks like this afterwards. It is kind of transparent, which is kind of cool. This produces a transparent slime. What I noticed was there was a lot of liquid at, at the top of it and the slime was like stuck to the bowl at the bottom. So what I did was I just wanted to let this cool down completely. However, it was the exact same way. I mean, the liquid was just there on top. So I just drained that and put it into a cup.
And then I proceeded to take the slime out of the bowl itself. Now the slime was actually very sticky and it stuck to the bowl. So it was really, really hard for me to grab it. It's more of like a putty texture. I wouldn't even consider this a slime really. I don't know if it's maybe just the way I did it or maybe my measurements are off, but this is what I produced here. I noticed that you get a lot more slime if you add in more of the potato starch. So I would suggest adding two, maybe even three tablespoons to this and seeing how that works for you. But this is what I got. I will say that the texture of this is really cool and the transparency of it is super cool as well. If you want like an edible transparent slime, like maybe for like a decoration of cakes or cupcakes, then I would definitely go for this one because this is edible as well. However, it doesn't stretch or anything, so I really wouldn't consider this a slime. Like I said, I'm not discrediting this, it just might have been my measurements. Alrighty, well that was pretty much it for this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section down below which of the slime recipes were your favorite. I have to say my favorite was definitely the Metamucil slime. I know I've seen people make it before. I just never thought that it would actually make like a real slime. I thought it would be kind of crazy. I don't know what I was thinking it would be honestly. I just never considered it a real slime, but it actually is and it's super cool. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel to become a unicorn. I love you all so much for watching. Thank you so much and I will see you all next time. Bye! Where there is smoke, there is a fire burning my